Hey guys, how you going? Right, um, had a bit of a mishap this morning. Um, I had, I had with this cabinet here, I had this sitting on here, and I thought oh, I'll come in and turn all the games on and that type of thing. Um, and having having everything on here, which means the buttons have been pressed. So when I've turned the machine on, um, it, this is a fifty-one and one. Um, their vertical fighting, you know, um, air attack, that PCB air attack. Um, I'm going to show you what happened. I'm just going to go turn the machine back on. I think I've wrecked it. So we're going to have to pull the cabinet out. Um, anyway, I'm going to go turn the machine on and you'll see, you'll see what happened. It's a bit odd because the game that comes up is not even in the menu. So I'll just go turn the machine on. And you'll see what I'm talking about. Oh. So don't leave anything. Where are you there? So you'll see. You see the machine comes on and it's supposed to do its thing. And this comes up. And you know, it's the air attack. It's supposed to look like this. And now this comes up. And this game is not even on that air attack, or well, 51 and 1. Um, it looks great and all, but... So we're going to pull the cabinet out, and I'm hoping if we do the test... I'm hoping if we do the test on the back, it'll maybe re rework it out so I've got to pull this cabinet out and have a look very disappointed so guys don't leave anything on your button buttons and that type of thing and then turn your machine on especially with multi because they've got ROMs um, main ROMs in there alright let's pull this cabinet out So I've turned the machine on, you can see the lights are on. Um, there's the board, the air attack board there. So what I'm going to do is, turn it around a little bit this way for a minute. Alright, we're going to, so it's on, I'm just going to press this. Um, you see that little button there, we're just going to press that. I'm hoping that'll do something. <sighs> I'd have to say we've probably wrecked it. I reckon that's rat shit. Nothing's changed. Alright, I've turned it off. Um... I've still got that gun on in there, which I don't like. It's very disappointing. I'm very annoyed with this one. Um, since the board is absolutely rat shit now, um, I did notice there is an SD card on here. So I've got an SD card on there. But nothing happens. So what we're going to do is... Um, I'm bloody disappointed with um, that. So 
whatever you do, you don't leave anything on the control panel when you start these games up because it was, obviously the input was the right input to make it clear or something. So I'm just going to pull this one out and put a 60 and one in it, um, and we're going to have to work out. We're going to have to work out what this card is all about and see if I can actually put different games on the SD card and see if I can play different games on it. Um, different ROMs on it anyway. Anyway, just want to let you know, don't leave stuff on top of the, of the buttons and then turn them on. Alright, there you go. I've stuck a 60 and one in there. There's the original cab in the background. So... We're just going to run with the 60 and one in now, till I work out what what the go is with the air attack. Bloody disappointed, I tell you that. Really disappointed. But anyway, um, at least I still got a vertical PCB for it. All right, guys. Um, just just a word of warning. Don't. Don't leave anything on your control panels. Um, I just had it as a flat spot. <laughs> I won't be doing that again. So you learn the hard way. Alright guys, um, hope this helps you out. Um, wish I knew this at the start. Alright, see ya.